The Cambridge Structural Database System 2013 release. New features and improvements. Mercury. These are the 3D visualizer improvements. The visualization code for Mercury Visualizer has been updated. Now we have better resolution, added anti-aliasing, better depth queuing, faster rendering, and quicker refresh rates for lower structures. So if we are considering the same image, exported at the exact same size directly from Mercury, the difference between the 2012 release and the 2013 release can be seen when you look at the 2012 release on the left and the 2013 release on the right, and this highlights the huge improvement in visualization quality and performance for this entry but for all other entries in Mercury using the 2013 release. Another feature is the ability to reposition labels within the 3D display. These new label positions are honored even when the structure is rotated. If you click here and you obtain the menu Move Labels, you can now individually move all of the labels. You can move the following labels, atoms, unit cells, calculated planes, measured distances, graph sets, and BFDH morphologies. You can also go back once you have moved all those labels, you have the option if you go to display labels and reset label positions to reset them to their original positions. Mercury image output improvements. The saving of images at multiples of the current window size. So now it is possible to do this via the save image option. There are different sizes that can be chosen, including multiple of current window size. You can go up to 10 times. There is also the option to output images with a transparent background. Now this will depend on two things. One of it is the graphics card and the other thing is the image output format that is chosen. Only .png and .tiff images can at the moment be saved with transparent background. If you choose any other image output format, or if your graphics card does not support this transparent background, this is what you will see. There will be a little message telling you that the feature is not supported. We have also introduced the automatic scaling of labels and lines when saving high resolution images. So here we're comparing on the left the same image exported at the current window size compared to the right the uh, same image but at 10 times uh, the multiple of that current window size. This really shows that when you have a high resolution image um, the labels and the lines are completely scaled up. We have also introduced a new output format that enables these labels to be edited Saving in the PDF format, if you have the correct software that enables you to edit PDF documents, you will then be able to edit the labels. We have also improved the surface transparencies in the POV-Ray output. If you compare the same image rendered with POV-Ray using the 2012 release on the left, compared to the one on the right using the 2013 release, you can see that there is a massive improvement in the surface transparencies and POV-Ray output. There were other improvements in Mercury. One other improvement is regarding the solid form suite. We now have the ability to calculate and output transformation matrices for packing similarity results. So to access that you go to the solid form menu and if you click on the crystal packing similarity and you compare, let's say, these two structures, what you get is a resulting two structures superimposed on each other to compare the packing. And if you want to save those results here, you click on Save Results, and you have the option to save as a search summary file. This search summary file, this is the format of the uh, search similarity file that you get for packing similarity results. We have also changed the way that the short contact van der Waals distances can be edited. Previously, it was only to one decimal place and now it is to two decimal places. Let's say that you have a molecule and you're expanding the contacts. 
and if you go to edit, to edit the definition of the short contacts, you will now be able here to input numbers up to two decimal places. Another improvement is that now atoms in the 3D view can be colored by element of suppression. So when the main menu color option you set it to element or suppression, all the suppressed atom in the 3D view are represented in the same unknown color so that they can be easily distinguished from other non-suppressed atoms. All other atoms will remain showed in their usual default element colors. So in this particular instance, if you see if I go back one and go forward one again, these atoms are colored as light green to show that these are the suppressed disordered atoms. Mercury file options. Now, Mercury file recent menu can contain the following solid form suite file formats. .mxml files, which are the motif query files. .msxml files, which are motif search result files and contain the search queries, the results and the overlay of the match on the hit structure. Mercury's file open and file save as dialogues now accept file names containing special characters such as those from the Chinese and Japanese language. As well, it is possible to have directories which contain the Chinese and Japanese language and Mercury will be able to open files located in these directories. Finally, Mercury's file Save As dialog now remembers the previously used location between sessions.